five county region just east of Raleigh is at the center of a growing industry. These counties are known as the biopharma crescent for being home to a large cluster of pharmaceutical manufacturers. Within just the last year, get this, there's been a string of new investments here bringing more than 2,000 jobs to the area. As WRL's Heidi Kirk reports, it's changing the landscape of eastern North Carolina. In a shoebox of an office at Barton College, you'll find Professor John Bethune. I've lived in places where I, people would ask me where I was from, and I'd rather say the state than the city. But anywhere I go, I'm proud to say I'm from Wilson, North Carolina. He's lived here for 25 years, teaching economics and raising two daughters. If you came to Wilson about 25 years ago, you probably would be coming from... I-95, then you would see farmland and eventually you would come up to the first major intersection, which had a McDonald's. A region once known for its farmland and tobacco cultivation, now putting itself on the map for another reason. We have been working together to market our region as a manufacturing region for pharmaceutical and biotech companies. They call it the Biopharma Crescent. This map speaks for itself, showing a five-county region home to a number of biotech and pharmaceutical companies. This year alone, companies have announced plans to invest at least $6.2 billion in the region, projects that could bring more than 2,500 jobs in the coming years. Cindy Ingram is the assistant director of the Wilson Economic Development Council. I think um, that it gives us a national and even international um, impression. Now, economic development officials tell us there's a few reasons that make this area so enticing, including the low cost of living, the proximity to Research Triangle Park, and the growing workforce. Ingram tells us it's been a years long venture for her and her team. We had this dream from the beginning that people would see that this gym exists just east of Raleigh. And bringing a sense of pride to the people who live here. Heidi Kirk, WRL News, Wilson. And you know, it's worth mentioning that most of the jobs coming to the region do pay above the county average.